Hello, FD Dove, I'm here bringing you another. God, the light is terrible. Another. Um, uh, doing video, I suppose, or been there video, I'm not really sure. Oof. Name? Michelle. Louder. Michelle. Okay. Sorry, this mic on shit. Anyway, uh, me and. this one. <laughs> um, attended uh, Mick Foley's stand up tour, um, something the Red Flannel, I think it's called. Anyway, so we went to his stand up tour and uh, they had a meet and greet as well for that um, today and the date is um, 25th of February 2012 so yeah we just literally got back from that probably as you can see and it was actually really good his stand up was actually really good um, compared to what I think compared to what I watched some scenes on YouTube and it looked alright because I've seen Rob Van Dam do stand up and everything like that but he was really really good he, you know if you've, if you've watched it on YouTube and you think it's shit then probably you will do but if you've got a chance to go and see it you'll probably think it's ten times better I suppose that's like it is with stand up comedians you know they're, they're better to see it in in person than, than they are on the DVD I mean Lee Evans is great on the DVD but I mean if you saw him in person he probably would be like much better anyway so yeah he was really good um, he had two opening support acts I can't remember their names uh, the guy was wearing a Seamus t-shirt and he was Irish and um, and I can't remember the other guy so it's small can you take those out can you take those bodies out? Just, just put them in the bathroom quickly. Edit. <laughs> so yeah, so we uh, went to his tour. Um, we had a meet and greet at 3 p.m. and then the stand up was at five. Uh, we got there. Um, uh, it's alright. There's a hand on the cage. Just no, take no, the so what time do we get? Do what time do we get there? About half two, maybe I two o'clock. Two o'clock. We got there about two o'clock. Two o'clock ish, and there was already about. How many people? 60 people there already, maybe? About 60 people there already. And I didn't expect that to be that for a meet and greet, but I mean, we had two hours to fit at least a god knows a lot of people. So we got there already, and you know, I saw that Zach Wilde headband, a few people wearing this t-shirt, a few other t-shirts and that as well. So um, I bought this here, bought this there. So yeah, so that was quite all right. Um, we managed to get everything done and dusted. Uh, we, we met Foley. Me and, uh, me and Michelle had both had a photo with him, so that was really good. We got two phones signed. I got a DVD signed, which I'll show you in a minute. She got a photo signed. You can probably see it there, actually. Uh, she got a photo signed, so that was really good. Really nice guy. Um, a little bit of a story. While in the line, I was actually I went to the toilet. Michelle held the place, and I went to the toilet because I couldn't hold it in. I went all around looking for a place, and I found a McDonald's. So I went to McDonald's, came back, and you won't believe it. On the way back, I saw Foley. This was this was before the show had even started. Foley was out on the street. Right, he was taking a photo with some um, some guy, and he, I saw him there. And he actually said to me, "I was wearing a Nexus t-shirt at the time. I wasn't wearing this shirt. I was wearing Nexus." He went, "Yeah, Nexus." He going, "Yeah, man. You so you support Nexus? You a fan?" I went, "Yeah." And he was like, "Cool, cool." And we went like that, and then he walked off. And for the first time in my life. Uh, I don't know, I, I just couldn't speak, I just saw him, I just couldn't, I just walked up and I, he was just stood there and I was just like, I was just like, what a load of what a load of girls would be if they ever saw Justin Bieber down the street, other than I didn't really cream my knickers when I saw him, but I was just, I just couldn't believe he was there, I just really couldn't believe, I just saw him, and I didn't expect him to be walking around, I mean most bands they walk around, I just did I was like, that's Mick Foley. <laughs> I don't know, he could have fainted if, you know, I didn't have a load of tourists going, oh my god, he fainted, you know, um, at me. So it was it was really good. Uh, he supported me when the next t-shirt. I, I was going to try and get a photo of him on my phone, but I didn't want to, I didn't really want to bother him because it was literally, this was about 15 minutes before we had to go and get the uh, the meet and greet. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm not going to bother him. Yeah, we're going to meet him anyway. I see you stand up. I mean, I'm not going to be one of those people that say, oh, it's Mick. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to take up wanker loads of his time and, you know, shit like that. So, we was in the line, so I met him on the way back, well, saw him on the way back, he commented my next shirt, so that made me feel really good. I got back, wait 15 minutes, we got in there. Uh, quite a lot of people, they were playing the Anthology CD, usually, so we had some music in the background, so uh, he actually had the... Uh, Dude Love play song, so he came up and did the uh, the cross leg thing. HBK. Man, what? HBK as well. What about HBK? His song. What about it? His song played. HBK song. Yeah. Yeah, I know HBK song. Yeah, he's sort of like one of the guys said uh, about yeah, all the guys mimicking, singing the words to the HBK song. Uh, he's old film dude. Mankind's first thing came on, and he called it. We want to leave my pain, but not to all of you. He did that as well, so that was that was like really good. Um, so that was awesome. We got to him when we went up. He was a guy. Oh, you were the guy from outside, so he obviously noticed me because I was anyone wearing next T-shirt. So uh, I got 
um, the greatest hits and misses signed by him right there and it kind of just looks like someone's just grabbed a pen and sneezed like at the same time for his signature there uh, it was of course between this DVD and the Royal Rumble 2000 but I thought we'll get this one because it's more about Foley because um, the Royal Rumble had obviously other matches so uh, I would have got a book done I do have a book by his The Hardcore Diaries I think it is I'm not sure so that uh, Michelle got a photo done so we would, this will be our now second frame photo she got that done as you can see once again it looks like someone has sneezed a really good photo there weren't many good photos of mankind believe it or not i mean we i think it was aiming for just a photo of uh, of this one here but to have this as well in the background that's pretty good so that's going to go in a frame along with the cm punking as well if we so we've made two sand and frame photos in one year plus go to wwe in um in april uh, there's there's a ticket as well if you want to see the ticket. Ooh, ticket. Oh, so yeah. So yeah. So we got that signed. We got that signed. He did the action. So it's time to talk actually more about the stand up. The stand up was actually really great. Uh, he came out with the music. He's like Shh, dun, 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 and then he said, uh, "What's this? We don't used to do this. You know, I'm not a wrestler. I don't come out to my theme music. You know, and I think he's done this at a few other tours as well. And he he goes back. And what does he come out here? He comes out dressed as Brodus Clay." with his theme he comes up with the hats and the coat and he has two girls and he actually dances like Brodus Clay and that was just amazing I don't know if he's done that anywhere else but I'm glad that we witnessed it I'm so glad that we was there tonight to witness him mimicking Brodus Clay I don't know if he's a fan of Brodus Clay but he did that the, the girls were a bit off with the dancing but still he, he was really good so that, that was him to see kind of Brodus Clay uh, he, said, he said he had a story finding the hat where did he find the hat? He got it off eBay, off like, um, I think it was uh, a pornographic Santa suit, wasn't it? Kind of an Anne Summers uh, Santa some, suit. Or yeah. So, yeah, he found the hat off like an Anne Summers Santa suit, so like, he had to share a story. And he was just basically sharing stories about WWE, that's what he's saying up here. He shared some about Jake the Snake Roberts, about him basically going, about being a prairie man and him giving up alcohol and that. Um, about some about him and his age, match before Edge at WrestleMania. That was quite funny, you know, and Foley said he went up to Edge before that story. He said, you know what you do for this match? Let's pray. Like what? <laughs> yeah, it was good uh, about him getting a, a hand job from a from a hitchhiker in a car for many years, many many years ago. About having to call his wife after many matches. Uh, well, yeah, the Undertaker, yeah, the Hell in the Cell match uh, that he actually had, just explaining to some fans that he wasn't supposed to go through the front. Oh yeah, I did actually buy this T-shirt as well, just before I point out. Um, that was twenty pounds. Uh, Michelle didn't read really buy. We don't really have much money, so I just got this T-shirt. If she could have got one, I think she probably would have got one because they did do these in women's sizes. Well, they did announce that over the microphone. They did these in women's sizes. So uh, yes, people. I'm taking on the cell. Um, oh, fuck it. What else did you talk about? Talked about quite a lot, didn't he? Um, talked about Vince McMahon a little bit. Um, a few more backstage antics and that, and that was about it. And it, it just, it, it was just basically him telling stories. In, was it two hours, two yeah. hours or more? Him telling stories for two out, two and a half hours. Yeah, and it was really good. It was, I really enjoyed it. Even the meet and greet was good. The stand up was good. You know, uh, one of the um, one of the supports. I can't remember his name. It's some Irish guy. I don't know if he's been. With, uh, I don't know if he follows Mick around. But he was wearing a shameless shirt. It was some Irish guy. He's got a ponytail as well. I don't know. He's but he did a uh, before he set finished. He actually and I'm gonna like trade. I don't know whether this is his joke, but trademark one of his jokes. He said to me, "I went to my first WWE event tour." And he said, "On the way out, you know, I actually when I was got in my car, I actually hit a kid wearing a John Cena wearing a John Cena shirt." It goes kind of ironically. I I couldn't see him. Uh, you know, so it's like rise up from that. You know, and that was just like really hysterical to see him say obviously because his child John Cena and he, and he just towards John Cena when he just said yeah rise up from that it was just like <laughs> it was awesome so he was good uh, I think uh, Paul Smalls or something I think was the other guy he was a right it looks a little bit like Michael McIntyre he got basically everyone to sound like a machine gun and he, uh, he's been called sexist like before apparently in one of his shows he said because he makes man mainly jokes towards women so so either way it was all good I'm rabbiting now it was all good we've got two things signed we've got a shirt I met him before the gig I thought the stand-up was good. What are you? Fantastic. Give to shout. Fantastic. I show other than that. Fantastic. There we go. They probably heard you second time round. So yeah. Comments below if you can actually hear her on the first, second, or third pitch. You want them. <laughs> so yeah. So it was. It was fantastic. The support. Very good. Yeah, the support was very good. I thought it was good. I thought the first guy was better than the second guy. 
personally, I don't know why. And they were going on, I think they were also mentioning uh, about Prince Mr. W joke. So they had a Q&A at the end as well uh, about... Someone asked about his ear. Obviously, as you know, he's got a ritual fear. He spoke about that. Uh, spoke about Terry Funk and the C4 match with King of Death uh, tournament and uh, F F Vader as well. He mentioned about it. So, he mentioned a lot about WWE. He openly asked the crowd if there was anyone in the audience that wasn't a WWE fan, a wrestling fan. It was about, I don't know, about three or four that weren't wrestling fans in there. I could see like people's mums or people's, people's mums, sisters, aunts, dogs heterosexual scouser, Liverpool sister, <laughs> got taken to the show. So yeah, it was surprising me. Uh, seeing taken up to be signed, there was someone took up a Hell in the Cell DVD that I could see. A lot of books were taken up as far as I could see. Um, someone brought in a Mr. Soccer. He did have a Mr. Soccer. He did have a sock. Well, it wasn't his sock. It was a sock. So he did have a Mr. Soccer. Unfortunately, that wasn't in the photo. We did have a photo of him. I might choose to put it in the video or not. It is on my Facebook page, which most of you don't have anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I did have a photo, so I might put it in the video. But yeah, he had a Mr. Soccer, so they were signed. Um, and my DVD, that DVD as well, someone, I saw someone sign that. So it was the majority of stuff. A lot of people having genuine ideas. Um, being signed, yeah, I was hoping to see the Royal Rumble, but I didn't, so yeah, that was the day, and after the signing, we went to the sea, and then, once again, they played more music, and then came out, so yeah, that was the day, that was the event, that was Saturday, the 23rd, 25th, 25th. yeah, my current personal calendar, <laughs> the 25th of August, February, 25th of February, 2012, when me and Michelle met Mick Foley, got a photo, got him to sign stuff, and he stand up. I, I was going in not 50-50, but I came out at least, 90, you know, maybe even 100% satisfied. It was all good, everything, and they said apparently, you know, that he's done like, he's got two shows tonight, he's done two shows today, plus another show, and another show before that, and it's apparently the guys really did different shows, different things from each show, so if you've seen Mick Foley in, not, in fucking Nottingham or Sheffield or whatever, you probably had a different show, so obviously, I don't know, just do a response video to this one, so yeah, so that was on me with Mick Foley, I'm going to go because I'm rabbiting on, I'm, I don't know, when I saw him outside I was shaking with excitement, I was so excited to now buzzing a little bit, so... Uh, this one's going to go play Spyro the Dragon for a little while, so why I just, why I don't know why I got my phone call. So yeah, if you've seen Mick Foley, comment if you like, if you've, well, like, comment, rate, you know, do whatever. So yeah, goodbye.